we need to do is get everyone on the same page, you know, dealers and growers, and, uh, and talking to um, consumers and the general public as well. The 4R Nutrient Stewardship Report. Information about how the right source, right rate, right time, and right place interact with issues facing everyone. Tom Brosma talks about the contribution adaptive management is making to 4R Nutrient Stewardship. The uh, 4R Nutrient Stewardship uh, involves using, you know, seeking to apply the uh, right source at the right rate, right time, right place. And how we define right is that it contributes to sustainability. So adaptive management is a part of that 4R Nutrient Stewardship. And in adaptive management, we're looking at, you know, questions a grower might have about recommendations they're receiving. If they're not sure of a recommendation, they can test it out on the farm using either strip trials or just monitoring the results when they make a change in, pro in practices uh, to, to determine what's happened. And the, the monitoring has to involve not only just measuring yield impact, not ju only just measuring productivity, but also measuring uh, the environmental impact to, in some way as well. Certainly when you do uh, on-farm research, you recognize that just one, re one result from one year doesn't mean a whole lot, but if you have information from other people who've done similar trials on similar fields in your area, that certainly adds to the information and adds to the confidence that you have in the information you're collecting as well. Uh, when you come at it from the academic perspective, you can get quite excited about doing research on farm, but then you recognize that any time any plot trial takes time to do, and uh, takes time at a critical time in the crop management operation. So there's a, a very limited amount that can be done in terms of strip trials on farms. But uh, I wouldn't limit uh, adaptive management to only strip trials on farms. I think adaptive management is a whole management philosophy of managing by results and ensuring that your results include measures related to what the stakeholders want from agriculture. Measures of environmental performance, measures of economic performance, and even measures of social performance. Are we producing what society is expecting of us? What keeps us going is, well, what we need to do is get everyone on the same page, you know, dealers and growers, and, uh, and talking to um, consumers and the general public as well. Um, and, and then I think we need to engage with uh, critical issues wherever they exist. We recognize, you know, that, that there are issues with phosphorus in Lake Erie. There are issues in some places with uh, nitrate in groundwater. Uh, we need to be just acknowledging that the issues are there, uh, that, uh, you know, we are not the cause of the problem, we are, but we, if we are part of the problem, we're working towards solutions. For more information, visit NutrientStewardship.com.